Hello, my friend. It is I, Vadim. How are you doing? AMD revealed Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs based on Zen 3 architecture. In this video, I will go over the specs, price, release date, and performance. AMD announced a total of four CPUs Ryzen 9 5950X and 5900X, Ryzen 7 5800X, and Ryzen 5 5600X. They will be available in stores starting from November 5th. These are AM4 socket CPUs that will be supported on your B450 and 550 as well as X470 and 570 motherboards after a BIOS update. Ryzen 9 5950X is a 16-core 32-thread CPU with 64MB of L3 cache, 105W TDP, 3.4 GHz base clock and 4.9 GHz boost. MSRP is $799. Ryzen 9 5900X has 12 cores, 24 threads, with 64 MB of L3 cache, 105 Watt TDP, 3.7 GHz base clock and 4.8 GHz boost. MSRP $549. Ryzen 7 5800X is an 8-core, 16-thread processor with 32MB of L3 cache, 105W TDP, 3.8GHz base clock and 4.7GHz boost. MSRP is $449. Ryzen 5 5600X has 6 cores, 12 threads, with 32MB of L3 cache, 65W TDP, 3.7GHz base clock and 4.6GHz boost. MSRP is $299. All Ryzen models are more expensive this time, and there is a reason for that. For the first time, Ryzen are beating Intel CPUs in gaming as well as professional tasks. That is why we shouldn't be too excited about AMD taking the lead. We were getting low prices before. Now the prices will be higher until Intel can challenge them again. This is a prime example of why we need healthy competition. To keep the prices low, and innovation progressing. Now let's talk about the performance. First up is 5900X. AMD calls it the best gaming CPU. And rightfully so. They are reporting better results than Intel 10900K in a wide variety of games. Single digit percentage increase in some and double digits in others. Impressive. Next up is 5950X. It is positioned as an enthusiast class CPU that offers the best single and multi core performance. 5950X is faster than 10900K in gaming as well. Unfortunately, they didn't share any benchmarks for 5800X or 5600X. I was particularly interested in 5600X as I think it will be a great value CPU for gaming. I am curious to see how close it can get to stock 10900K gaming performance with some tweaks and overclocking. I hope that I will get a chance to test that. By the way, now you can support this channel. Just use my Amazon or Newegg affiliate link in the description below to buy the stuff you would normally get anyway. Just make sure that you are not buying any overpriced hardware. You still get what you need and the commission I receive supports this channel's growth. Thanks to you I can create content full time, bringing you fresh stories like this one as soon as possible. That is all for now. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're there, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and click on that bell icon to enable notifications. Also follow me on Twitter at iVadimTech to see even more content. It was I, Vadim, thank you for watching and have a great day.